Hi guys, my name is Mohammed, and today I'm going to solve another question uh, which came uh, in 2023 and the question number 15, yeah? So question number 15 I'm going to solve today, so CSSE 2023 and the question number, question number 15, yeah? Question number 15 is says, for each flowchart, find an input number to give the required output. So, what they're gonna give you, okay? So, it says for each for each flowchart, find an input number. Input number. To give the required output, required output. So they basically, okay, uh, they given flow chart basically. So I'm gonna give you first part A for the question number fifteen. Okay, so they give you the, this flow chart. It says this is box and number times so there is an input and then whatever the input you times by three then arrow then again box what you're going to do it okay you just you square and arrow and this one is what 81 so the output is giving so basically this is output okay it's like a function machine okay so they give you you know functions okay what's happening okay and uh, they already given the answer so it means that output you know which is 81 okay so what you're going to do the best things is if you know the output okay or you know the answer so what i said to you you go for the backward calculation backward calculations means the square of 81 is what nine very simple okay and it says times by three so the whenever the backward calculation whenever the times okay you always divide by three so eight means it means okay nine divided by three which is equal to three so we can verify as well okay if we put here okay in this box okay so three times three is what nine and nine square is 81 so it means the input value will be what three input will be three very simple very easy okay so so now part b same as the flow chart given but with a different value okay so look at this one so same it says input then arrow this time this one is going to be square and this one is times by 3 and then output is 75 very simple very easy what you're going to do it okay if it's a backward calculation answer is already given go back if the times and to get the answer the so times inverse is divide okay so what you're going to do it very simple 75 divided by 3 so 75 divided by 3 equal to what 25 okay and okay so 25 is a square of what number 5 so it means if i put the input here 5 okay so 5 times 5 is 25 
and 25 times 3 is what? 75. Very simple, very easy, okay? So the answer will be what? Input will be 5. Go for the part C. Very simple, very easy questions, okay? And part C says input. Input. Then arrow. This is. It says a square. Then arrow. Then says times by 4. And then the output will be 25. So, exactly this, don't be confused with the numbers, okay? So, you need to follow the same method you did for the part A and part B, okay? Same, w what have you done, okay? If there's a times, you need to divide by, okay? So, I'm going to say, I'm going to do the same activity, okay? So, if it's 25 times 4, the, uh, whatever the number, the times by 4 together 25. So, the number I need to find out high. How? So 25. Okay. So this is a time. So I'm going to divide. Okay. So 25 times divided by 4. So 4 times 6 is 24. Remainder is what? 1. Put the decimal here. And 10. 4 times 2 is 8. Remainder is 2. Then put the 0. 4 times 5 is 20. So it means if we divide by 4, okay, so you will get the number what? 6.25. So this number will be what? 6.25. Hang on a second. 6.25. If I remove what? Okay, if you know about 6.25 and if I'm going to remove this decimal out, what's the number here? Six. 25 okay and if you are my student you know i ask you about to learn the square number so a square of 5 is 25 and 25 square is what 25 yeah so it means what a square of 25 which is equal to 625 okay very simple you put the decimal here okay so the, it means the input is 2.5. You can, okay, you can prove your answer. So when you square for 2.5, so you will get 6.25. And you multiply 6.25 times y4, you will get what? 25. So th this is very easy question, but bit tricky. Okay, so... So that's it for today. If you like this video, please share with your family, friends, okay? And if you need any support, especially for the CSSE for this air, so don't hesitate to contact me. So I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.